guys, I am so excited because tonight is taco night and we love taco night around here and you know what, it's kind of weird but somehow my husband gets home just a little bit earlier from work on taco night. He's just a little extra excited to walk in the door at night. So I am going to share with you guys some of my tips and tricks for making taco night just a little bit healthier for your family. So I'll show you what I prepped for it this morning. I have a pound of grass-fed ground beef on thawing. Um, I prepared some toppings. This is what we like to have on our tacos. I have some fresh chopped tomato, some red onion, cilantro, avocado, fresh lime, and black olives. That's my kid's favorite. And um, then have some more toppings over here. Me and my husband are dairy-free, but my kids do love cheese, so I'm going to shred up some grass-fed Kerrygold cheese on top of theirs. Um, this is the guacamole that I buy. I do shop at Costco and I get both of these from there. Um, these are little like individual packets of guacamole. These are good for like taking on the road for my kids or packing to my husband's lunches. Um, this is organic. The ingredients are good. Um, this is um, another brand that I really like from Costco. This is not organic but the ingredients are, are otherwise great and um, it is so delicious. So those are two that I do recommend. Um, we're, we're also going to put some salsa on top. I don't necessarily recommend this brand. There's nothing special about it, but if you guys saw my health journey video, you saw that I dealt with um, like chronic rashes and itching all winter, and sometimes I will have a rash pop up here and there from just random foods, and salsa, um, store-bought salsa, is something that does give me a rash every now and again, and um, so this Trader Joe's brand just happens to be one that does not um, give me a reaction for whatever reason. But when you guys do shop for salsa, um, just make sure that you don't get any, um, that you get one without any hidden sugar inside because when I was shopping for salsas, I was um, surprised to find that most salsas, even organic ones, have a lot of hidden sugar inside. Just make sure you be mindful of that. So, this is um, what I season my taco meat with. I did make, I used to make for years, um, like my own homemade taco seasoning, and I would just keep it in a jar and make it every now and again. And, um, but I find it's just as easy, easy to just pull all these seasons, seasonings out very quickly and to just season up my meat. And um, as you can see, I love seasoning. I always season my stuff really heavily. So, I do use garlic powder, chili powder. Himalayan salt, cayenne, oregano, parsley, paprika, black pepper, and ground cumin. And then um, I will also, when it's all done cooking and season, seasoned, I'll finish it off with some coconut aminos on top. Um, so what do we use to put our, ta to put our uh, taco meat and our toppings on? Um, well, we used to years ago, back when we still, you know, ate gluten and a lot of flours and stuff, we would just buy the flour tortillas or the prepared taco shells. We do not do that anymore. Um, not only are we gluten-free, but we're transitioning um, to more of a grain-free, um, paleo-type way of eating. When I do buy tortillas, I really like to buy that Food for Life brand that makes the sprouted Ezekiel bread. They make a sprouted corn tortilla that is really tasty and it's just organic sprouted corn and like water or salt or something like that. And my girls really, really like those so I do buy them from time to time. I don't have any um, in the house today so I can't show them to you. They do sell them at the local health food store. Um, so another thing that we'll put our tacos on is we'll buy um, like the romaine hearts, you know, the long lettuce leaves and we'll put all of our meat and toppings on that and you can pick it up and eat it like a taco. Tonight we're going to do a taco salad for me and my husband because we have so much lettuce and fresh greens in the refrigerator right now. So I'll just make a, a bed of lettuce and greens on a plate and then we'll put all of our meat and toppings on the salad, squeeze some fresh lime over it. It's going to be so good. Um, and another thing that we do is sometimes we'll combine taco night with like potato bar night and I'll bake up some sweet potatoes nice and soft, and um, this is really hearty and filling. We'll just put all the meat and toppings right onto the baked sweet potato. So yeah, that's some of my tips and tricks to so just make taco night a little bit healthier for you and your family.